Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I have discovered Warframe. Where have I been with this game over the last couple of years? I, I've heard from some friends that it was great, they said that it was enjoyable, but I myself have never actually sat down and given it a try. And while there are a few things that I'm not too keen on, mainly the excessive amount of grinding, and we'll get that here in a second, uh, overall I played for 12 hours and during that time I have been very impressed by this free-to-play shooter. And so the first thing that I've thoroughly enjoyed, and this is a good thing because it's arguably the most important aspect about any video game is the combat and gameplay. Your goddamn space ninja, for goodness sakes, with an assault rifle or a wide assortment of different weapons, and it, it comes with a crazy fast movement system. Admittedly, the movement system did take me some time to get acclimated to it. There was one moment when I took about five minutes to figure out how to jump over a ledge. Embarrassing, I know. But once I did get adjusted to that combat, I was zipping around the maps, flying around everywhere, performing different abilities, swapping between my weapons, having different combos for the sword just the other day this is this is also embarrassing i realized that you can perform different moves depending on if you're jumping up and down if you're sliding slashing really cool and the complete package is just very very satisfying combat another thing i was pleasantly surprised by is that there's actually a story here it's not groundbreaking it's not gonna blow you away with its complexity and its different twists and turns by any means but it's, it's a solid story for a free-to-play game. At one moment, you even realize why the enemy is fighting the good fight from their viewpoint. It gives you some context, and what was great about it is that it wasn't just a good versus evil type of storytelling. It's It's got some gray area there. Uh, sure, what they're doing in the grand scheme of things that you may not agree with, and that's the reason why you're fighting against them, but you can also sympathize with their, with their species or with their civilization and why they're fighting for what they're fighting for. It was a pleasant surprise. I was not expecting to have a story in a free-to-play shooter like this, and actually one that I moderately, you know, enjoyed. One thing that I really want to test out, and this is probably the reason why this game is so successful, are the myriad of different classes, which they call Warframes, and the, the large amounts of weapons. The first time I jumped into a public mission and I was paired with these two players, one using a massive claymore, the other using this really exotic weapon, I thought to myself, I want that. I want that now. Get in my belly. That looks fantastic. And I think this is the reason why people love this game so much, is that every single weapon in combination with all the different Warframes provides a different play style. Like, for example, I played as the Loki. I haven't had the chance to unlock any other of the Warframes, but what makes my class unique is that I can manipulate everything around me. I have a decoy that I can toss out, which causes the enemies to aggro onto it, lessening the damage that I and my teammates are making. I can stealth. I also have an ability that will cause all of the enemies to go into melee, for a short period of time, making it very easy for me to blast them with my assault rifle. And this is just for the Loki. I, I was blown away when I learned that there's like 20, maybe, maybe there's not 20, but there's a lot of other Warframes that you can pick and choose from. And each of them have their strengths and weaknesses and all these other different abilities. And then when you pair them with certain weapons, for example, it completely changes the way that you can play that class. It's awesome. I can see why people invest, you know, thousands of hours into Warframe because there's an incredible amount of depth, there's a, an absurd amount of customization, and the complete package, when you put all this together, uh, it's, just, it's just fun. Uh, the downside of it, though, and I think this is one of the biggest critiques about this game, is that there involves a lot of grinding. A lot of grinding. Uh, like I mentioned, I've already put about 12 hours into this game, and I haven't even unlocked another one of the other Warframes. I know what they do because I spent like a couple of hours just looking at all of them, searching through all of the different classes to see which one I would like, but I never got the opportunity to at least unlock them with my in-game currency. You can spend real-world money and just buy a Warframe right at the start if that's what you want, and that's fantastic. I mean, this is a free-to-play game. They need to pay their bills. The developers are not going to do this for free, but uh, even all that being said, I would not say that the game does a bad job with their free-to-play model. 
I'm not 100% certain if you can buy everything with in-game currency, but I looked around on the interwebs, I talked with some people, and at least according to them, if you want to play this 100% free and you want to buy basically everything that's going to allow you to change your playstyle, different weapons or warframes, you can do that by just investing a crazy amount of time into it, grind it all out, and you can all have that at your fingertips. Of course, if you spend a little money, it's going to go a little faster, and that's sort of how free-to-play games work at this point, but it was really great to see that if you do not want to spend a dime and you want to get the full experience in Warframe, that is a hundred percent possible. Now, one gripe that I did have though, and this might just because I'm new to the series and I don't know what I'm doing, but I was having a hard time finding groups for missions that I wanted to do. Like there are a lot of times I would queue up for a mission. It would say that there was a couple of squads doing said mission and I would wait there for a good 10 minutes without any luck. I would exit out of the mission, I'd try to find another, and then when I clicked except for that, it would immediately pop me into a squad. And so I don't know if there's a way that you can just party up immediately, if there's like a looking for group function in Warframe, because there were a lot of times when I was soloing a couple of these missions, I was able to do them, but they were very, very difficult. And then when I got to some of the defensive ones, where you need to fight off waves and waves of enemies, it was nearly impossible. And so maybe it's just because I'm new to the game or maybe I'm playing the lower level content and a lot of the a lot of uh, the player base is in the higher tiers or the higher levels and so I just don't have a, a wide pool of players to choose from or that are looking for those missions uh, but at least for the first couple of hours I was noticing that it was very difficult to get into a group and the fact that this game seems to be very group oriented uh, that was a, a, a large drawback at least for the first couple of hours now the last thing that I wanted to mention before I sign off for today is that the graphics not too shabby. At one moment, I was running through what looked like a white and gold futuristic cathedral. Looked incredible. Uh, there's a wide variety of different environments. At one time, I was running through a jungle. Another moment, I was running through some ice fields, futuristic caverns. Game looks great. I mean, it's not AAA status. It's not Crisis 3 by any means, but for a free-to-play game, uh, my eyes were pleased by the nice particle effects, the high texture quality, and overall just uh, the solid the solid graphics on this free-to-play title. Uh, but overall, I am thoroughly enjoying my playtime with Warframe. While everyone else is playing the new Call of Duty, having fun with Advanced Warfare, I'm just over here enjoying my time leveling up my Loki. Uh, I probably will go play the new Call of Duty, it's definitely on my list of things to do. But right now, I am really enjoying this solid free-to-play shooter. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my discovery of this game. Uh, let me know what you think about Warframe. Do you enjoy it? I know that it's now on the PlayStation 4. Is there some large negative that I'm missing? Does it turn into a massive non-free-to-play game? Or does it require you to spend money later on? Let me know down below. Uh, but until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.